We are leaving our beachfront site today on Surfside Beach in Texas to head to Corpus Christi, Texas because we've just had it with staying on the beach. There's a lot of pros and cons to staying in an RV on a beach, but the cons really start to pile up as you stay. And we've been here for about a week and a half and we're just ready to be off the beach. Uh, the wind is crazy today and so is the humidity and I'm actually being shielded by the RV a little bit but if I were on the other side of the RV I'd just be getting blown away but if you want a full list of pros and cons of living in an RV on a beach you can go ahead and click this card and see what it's like but we're ready to go so we're gonna pack up the RV and head on out to Corpus Christi Wait, let me get a shot of that. Yeah. Oh, goodness. So this is what we've been dealing with. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, so much sand. <laughs> Finally off the beach, though. Well, we wanted to get some video of us getting the RV ready, other than, you know, what I got with the solar panels and, like, hooking up to the RV and pulling away and stuff from the beach, but the wind was just insane today. There was sand just blowing everywhere. It got in my mouth, in my eyes, and I was sweating a little bit, so it was all over my face, just caked all over to my body. So we were just like, we gotta get out of here <laughs> as fast as possible. So just forget filming until we're in the truck. And we stopped at that gas station. I got a little cleaned up. <laughs> just splashed my face off. And yeah, but that was absurd. I don't think we're gonna be staying on a beach for for a little while. Where we were thinking about going in Corpus Christi, there you are either required to have a permit, which is only good for three days, which would be fine, um, or no matter, like if you stayed in a state park or there's like a Padre Island National Wildlife Reserve or something, something like that, uh, you still had to have a permit, but you also then had to pay for an entrance fee. So it'd be like thirty dollars a night at the end of it. All so, that, right? Yeah, it, it was. It was pretty. It was going to be pretty expensive. So. Plus, then we'd still have to deal with sand, and we wouldn't yeah. have hookups or water. Yeah. So, so we went ahead and decided we were gonna stay at another RV park that has hookups, electric water hookups, and it is thirty dollars a night. We called and made a reservation. We have to check in by five. 325. <laughs> Our ETA is just after 4.30, so we should be fine for check-in. And we are so ready <laughs> to clean everything. Yeah, we're gonna, once I get there, um, using the hose and washing the RV off because there's sand and salt just everywhere. So the RV on the outside is a complete mess. And on the inside is almost just as bad because there's sand everywhere. So we're gonna wash the RV and we're gonna clean the inside, get all that sand off, and we're gonna do laundry for our bed sheets, the, the, the bed that the dog sleeps on, her sheet. The bathroom rug needs clean, the whole place needs sweeped out. We're taking the U Dinette cushions out and beating them <laughs> basically yeah. Yeah. until we can get all the sand, as much sand out of them as we can because we're so tired of sand. So tired. We're only planning on staying there for two nights is what we're paying for when we get there. We'll stay for a third night if we feel it's necessary, but hopefully not. I think we can get everything done tomorrow we want to get done. Yeah, yeah, we're only going to Corpus Christi to see that SS Lexington yeah. aircraft carrier to tour that. Uh, so we'll, yeah, World War II aircraft carrier. So we're gonna check that out. And since we're paying $30 a night, we're just gonna get in there, check it out, get out. <laughs> We really tried to find free camping around Corpus Christi, but there was just none. So, you know, we're forced to pay for a site in an RV park. So, oh well. We're not gonna be able to find any free campsites anytime soon, probably the next week. Yeah. Week to week and a half. Because after we leave Corpus Christi, we're going to San Antonio to do some awesome things there. Very excited for that. And, uh, we're gonna be staying in another RV 
Navy campground there. I don't remember how much it is. I think it's like 20 bucks. Yeah, it didn't seem absurd. $30 is, that's really high for me. Yeah, it's pretty high. 20 is still kind of high, but not terrible. 30 is like, we'll only be there as long as we need to. But yeah. 20 is like, not as big of an emergency to get yeah. out. <laughs> Yeah, so I do believe that while we're in San Antonio, though, we're paying somewhere between 20 and 30 a night is what we're going to be doing, which isn't absolutely terrible. We can handle that for a week and a half. And I don't have plans yet for after San Antonio. West. So, west. That's always oh. the general, that's our general plans is, what are we doing next? West. West. <laughs> and we're going west. That's all we know. Yeah. So stay tuned for all that. We finally made it to our site at Laguna Shore Village, RV Park in Corpus Christi. Um, the sites are pretty packed in here. RVs are really close to one another, but it's a pretty nice park. Uh, $30 a night again, pretty expensive for us, but you know, it's kind of what we get. We couldn't find any free camping that wasn't on a beach, so here we are. The RV is absolutely filthy from being on that beach. Salt everywhere, sand everywhere, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick wash and I get to try out this new brush I just got, so pretty excited about that. All right, and that's it, she's clean. <laughs> it was kind of a whammy job because I'm racing the sun, but uh... You know, I'm running out of light, I just had to get it done quick. I just wanted to get the salt and the sand off of it, but I think it's pretty good. We can at least see through the windows now. I'm a little upset though, my new brush, the hose is supposed to connect right to the end here and then spray water out through here, but I had a huge leak right here because it's broke. And I just bought it like two weeks ago, so I'm a little upset about that. But um, it seemed like a really good concept and I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description if you want to see something like this because it does telescope so this comes out and it's supposed to spray water through the brush but it did a good job if only it wouldn't have been leaking leaking <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Jenny's gonna be cooking us dinner so I'm gonna go clean up inside and eat some food we haven't had anything since breakfast so we're both starving what you got cooking good looking <laughs> we are having uh, chicken quesadillas Oh. Uh, with asparagus oh. and salads. Oh my. You're too good to me. <laughs> I know. That sounds so good. Ready to dig in? Alright, so we got clean outside of the RV. Yep. Clean inside of the RV. Yep. For the most part. There's still some to do, but the floor swept. And the bed sheets, including Sweetie's bed, are all getting washed right now. Yep. So we're getting rid of the sand. Awesome dinner by my beautiful wife. Mouth is watering. Yeah, we can eat. <laughs> we can eat. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want more like it, go ahead and subscribe because our journey is just beginning. Catch you guys later. Oh, last note: if you want my chicken quesadilla uh, recipe, there will be a link in the description below to this recipe. It's delicious. Congrats. You're gonna wanna try it. <laughs> yeah. She makes it good. All right, yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Have a good night. <laughs>